Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about the Condor Pterosaur. And we're going to be talking about what I like about this knife and why I think that ultimately this is a pretty good pick for a bushcrafting all-around knife that is on a budget. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so like I said, this is the Condor Pterosaur. This one particularly is in green, and in another video I will get to why I chose that green. But in this video we're going to be talking about just this knife, and what I think about it, what I like, what I don't. So, if it isn't already immediately apparent with the style of this knife and the style of its sheath, albeit its sheath has been kind of covered up now, but uh, this knife is really designed to be a direct competitor to something like the Mora Garberg. However, this knife is also far cheaper than the Mora Garberg at about like 50% of the cost. So while it is in style and in essence designed to be a competitor to the Garberg, I think that ironically it's more of a competitor to another Mora knife that would be the Mora Bushcraft Black. But the whole uh, competitive options will be another discussion that we will have later. So overall, I think that this knife is pretty darn good. I really don't have too many complaints about it, um, especially for its price point. Coming in at around $41 to $45, what you're basically getting is a full tag, as you can see exposed tag on the back, a uh, full tag 1095 general purpose camp slash bushcrafting knife. Now, I would probably consider this knife uh, like I do the Bora Garberg and like I do the Bora uh, Bushcraft Black. It's just a little bit too small to be a realistic or super solid option for survival unless you pair it with other tools. So I probably would not call this knife a, you know, excellent survival knife, but for bushcrafting, I would say that it's definitely more than adequate and really fits the bill pretty well. It's very similar to the Bushcraft Black. It's pretty similar to the Bushcraft Black in overall size, as you guys can see here, and in thickness as well. So the more bushcraft black might just be a scotch thicker, but overall it's about the same in a lot of its uh, dimensions. So, so overall, what do I think of the knife? I think that especially versus a Mora Garberg, this is much better because of the price and arguably a better steel. However, of course, the bushcraft black, or sorry, the Mora Garberg does now come in a stainless version, or sorry, carbon version, but. Um, Overall, I would say that this is a better value option, although I'm not the largest fan of this kind of natural uh, steel kind of look. I think it is definitely a look. Um, certain people will love it, certain people won't. Um, it definitely looks neat at times. Sometimes it really blends in with bark. Not a huge fan of that, but once again, it performance-wise is just fine. I do say that I, I will say that I do really like the grind on this. I find that between the grind and the ergonomics, I find it very easy to do any bushcrafting tasks that I have assigned this knife. Uh, this thing can certainly process game animals very well, especially due to the fact that it has a nice drop point. So with your Mora knives in general, they're going to have this type of shape where it's almost more of a kind of clip point. So you don't really have this kind of sweeping drop point. You just have more of a clipped point which is okay, but not as good for processing game animals. However, it certainly can, and that uh, Bushcraft Black has. Um, but I do like the drop point on this blade overall a little bit more, just because it's uh, it makes a thinner tip and a little bit more agile tip for doing fine or delicate work. So I like that bit more. I like the way that it cuts. I feel like there's not much difference between this and the grind on a Mora, but I feel like this one just does a bit better job, and I think that might be due to the fact that it just has really solid ergonomics. The ergonomics are not crazy on this knife, they're not trying to, you know, incorporate a lot of uh, different types of grooves in the handle. It's just very basic, but it's also very easy and very comfortable. Uh, one thing that the handle does kind of lack is that while it is plastic, and I do like that because synthetic materials are more uh, climate neutral, so they don't get too hot or they don't get too cold, if there's really no uh, 
traction to it, so if this handle gets wet, it definitely can't be a problem to hang on to. But at the same time, realistically, you know, we're going out, we're camping, we're bushcrafting. This isn't going to be, you know, extreme survival here. You know, you just have, you just have the knife to do knife tasks with. So I'm not super, uh, super drawn away by that. It does have a nice little lanyard loop, and of course, you do have your full tank kind of sticking out the back. Now, on to real or serious cons to this blade. One thing that I do dislike is the fact that the spine on this knife, it's kind of weird. It's definitely been ground. Uh, as you guys can see, obviously, this is the natural color of the steel. So they've ground the spine of this blade. But the way that they ground it, they put just a slight kind of uh, almost rounding to it. So it does strike ferro rods okay, but it does not strike them the best and it's definitely evident and uh, you can see that whenever you try to strike ferro rods with it so it will throw okay sparks but the sparks could be much much better so that's the one thing i dislike about it but aside from that and especially for its price it's pretty solid now let's take a quick minute to talk about the sheath so this is its sheath now i do realize it has obviously been modified from stock but basically it's a very Bora Garberg-esque you know sheet where it's just a piece of plastic and you know it fits in here got good retention or your knife fits in here just fine you have okay retention nothing too crazy nothing too wild you know it's not going to fall out now I did modify this sheath uh, to be a little bit different standard it comes with a belt loop that just kind of slides on and clips into place right about uh, if I can pull this down a little bit maybe maybe not Okay, I can't, but uh, yeah, so there's like a little spot right where this last uh, line of paracord is, uh, but that's where your belt loop would clip into. But essentially what I did, because I don't really carry knives on my belt, and in fact, in another video, I talked about some of my favorite ways to carry a field knife. One of those ways is in, there's kind of a designated pocket on my Fiel Raven Vita Pros. And so I built up this sheath a little bit because from factory or out of box, the sheath didn't really fit in that pocket too well, like it was just too loose. So I put some rubber, or sorry, took some rubber inner tube or some ranger band and slid that onto the sheath and then wrapped it with paracord so that the paracord won't go anywhere. And now it's just thick enough to fit perfectly into that pocket and give enough resistance so that when I pull on the knife, the sheath stays and the knife comes out. So it fits into that kind of knife pocket on my Fiel Raven Vita Pros perfectly. And so that's why I did this modification. Of course, there are obviously survival implications and having a bit of extra paracord never hurts you. So, you know, that the Ranger Band, I'm not opposed to having, but the primary purpose was to give the sheath some more uh, resistance in that particular knife pocket so that I could carry it similar to the way that I carry the Mora Bushcraft Black in the same pocket as well. So that's the primary reason I did that modification and that's the primary way I like carrying this knife because it's still reasonably small, reasonably compact, but sturdy, robust, and stout little thing. And overall, uh, when I initially got the Pterosaur, I wasn't sure what to think of this blade because especially for its price point nowadays, you kind of go in thinking that it's either going to be a really great knife or a really crummy knife. And I'm very happy to say that the Pterosaur is definitely a really great knife and easily, easily a competitor to something like the Bushcraft Black, if not better in some ways than the Bushcraft Black. So that's what I have to say about the more, uh, sorry, the Condor Pterosaur. Uh, it's definitely a more Garberg killer. Uh, especially at price, if you consider the price point for what you're getting. Uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.